FC United was created in 2005 uh, in the direct response to the Glazer family taking over at Old Trafford. Many of us have been campaigning for greater fan involvement, not just at Manchester United, but also um, in the wider game of football and have been responsible for setting up different networks of football fans coming together, um, fans notoriously rivals in what, uh, off the field can come together and also try and achieve change within the game and get the fans to have a, uh, have a greater say. Uh, anybody who knows anything about football will know that, um, that football isn't exactly in the greatest of financial health, that there are clubs going bump all the time, um, despite the amount of money that's in the game, over three billion pounds um, a year generated within the game most of that concentrated within the top division, yet we have football clubs going bump uh, regularly. Out of the 92 professional clubs, there's been in excess of 50 insolvency events uh, in, in football since the establishment of the Premier League in the early 90s. That's not a successful way to run, uh, to run football. So as, as, a, as a group of supporters, we wanted to see an alternative, and we felt that for far too long, uh, fans um, as the customers of the, of the game have just been largely ignored and marginalised and exploited. Um, every single season we see increasing prices of, of, uh, of getting into the game and merchandise, etc. And the fans themselves are just treated um, in quite a despicable way um, by, by most of the football clubs because they see that, that their ultimate loyalty is something to exploit, not something to actually bring in and, and use effectively uh, with, developing, with developing the club. Um, in 2005, when we, when we decided we were, were, we were going to take action against, against the Glazers and withdraw our custom, if you like, rather than withdrawing our support for the club, um, we looked around as to how we might establish a different kind of model. There are a lot of successful fan-owned football models, not just in this country, but also on the continent, uh, in particular, Barcelona, current European champions, are a fan-owned football club. Completely different model to ourselves. In Germany, you can't actually be registered as a football league club in Germany unless you have fan uh, uh, ownership as part of your constitution. The club, clubs must be at least 50% owned by, uh, by, the, uh, by the supporters or by the community. So there's lots of different models to draw on. And in this country, uh, we took our lead really from Supporters Direct, which is a, a body established um, in the wake of the Football Task Force to look at how fans could get more involved with, uh, with, with their football clubs. And in particular, AFC Wimbledon and AFC Telford, who are two football clubs that were established on a fan ownership model, gave us great assistance and talked to us about the different models that were, that were available. Um, <clears throat> we established ourselves as an industrial and provident society, which basically means we're a community benefit co-op. Centre of our constitution is that we must be of community benefit. Even before any success on the field, we've got to demonstrate that we're, we're of community benefit. Without success in the field, then we wouldn't be a very successful fan-owned football club. So obviously we've got to, there's got to be a balance. Um, but it's working very well. In this year, we've put on um, another thousand members on what we had last year. We've now got over three and a half thousand members. Uh, our community work has grown year on year. Uh, to this year, we've got a, a turnover just on our community work of close on a quarter of a million pounds, which includes uh, apprenticeship schemes for young people, future jobs fund uh, scheme that we've been, we've been operating as well as what you would expect in terms of coaching schemes and, and other community activities um, in, in many of the deprived, uh, deprived estates and, and parts of Manchester. Um, giving young people um, uh, opportunities, but also try to use football as a way of engaging with, with many young people who've otherwise become disengaged from, uh, not just from, from, from uh, education or from, from work, but also some of them actually completely disengaged from from any adult role models and disengage from their own families. Um, football is not a panacea, but it is a way of engaging with people and then being able to deliver other, uh, other educational and, and, and lifestyle messages. And we do that not just with young people, but also, uh, also with older people as well, getting adults active and physically active and leading to healthier lifestyles. And one, one, in, one uh, project we've just recently been involved in in Newton Heath and Miles Platin was dealing with isolation largely amongst, uh, amongst 
people of pensioner age, people over 60, mostly men who, um, who become isolated in their own homes and we use football as a way of engaging with those people which led to them um, becoming more re-engaged within, within their own community but also bringing them to one of our games and, and, uh, and um, hopefully uh, they enjoy the experience. Uh, so that, our, our community work is a, is a large part of what we do but as I said at the beginning Football is very important. We're doing this because we're football fans. We're doing this because we believe uh, the game of football sh should be better governed. And in a week when we've seen the multi-million pound um, accusations of fraud and, and corruption within FIFA and the higher levels of the game, then really it couldn't be a sharper contrast to talking about how fans should have a greater say uh, in, in the way the, the game is run. Um, we were told at the beginning we didn't know what we were doing and that football, football uh, could only exist in its current model and current form. Well, six years on, we've had the most successful s season on the field. We've had the most successful, fi um, successful season in terms of our commitment and turnover on the community side. We've got more members than we've ever had. We've got over 1,000 season ticket holders. We attract crowds in excess of 2,000. Um, we're about a quarter of our crowd um, to a third of our crowd is under the age of 18. We've got a large number of women, all ages, coming to, coming to our games. Completely different demographic profile than what you would see in a professional game. The average age of somebody attending Old Trafford, for example, is in excess of 50. So you have to be earning quite a bit of money to be able to afford a ticket to go and watch uh, a top-class Premier League, uh, Premier League uh, fixture. We've not abandoned Manchester United. We're all uh, still, or well, many of us are still passionate Manchester United fans. We believe there should be a change in the way uh, Manchester United operates. But that isn't going to happen unless examples are shown about how things can, can, uh, can, can, uh, can go that way. So we're part of that change. Very small part, small football club, passionate about football, passionate about uh, Manchester United, and believe there should be uh, a different way of running that football club in a different way of, of running football for the benefit, not just of the community around the club, but the benefit of the wider community. Uh, we've demonstrated successfully what an economic impact we can have, uh, not just by spend at the gate, uh, but also when we travel around as, as supporters visiting other clubs, we will take 500 to 1,500 different people who are then putting money back into other clubs, putting money into the local economies of the uh, areas that we, that we, uh, that we visit generating in excess of a million pounds a year just on that uh, match day operational uh, activity alone. So football can be, uh, can, can be uh, for the benefit of the wider community rather than just a small group of people who might own one individual football club. And we've done that as a community benefit co-op and we're proud to be uh, a community benefit co-op and it's something we're looking to, to, uh, to take to other clubs and get other clubs established in a similar form just recently, in the last couple of years, we've assisted clubs such as Scarborough Athletic, Chester. Um, we've been involved in discussions with, with football fans um, at Wrexham FC who are looking to take over their football club after they are, are suffering again under the insolvency uh, event. So that's it. That's, that's FC United in Manchester. I've brought some material here. Uh, one thing I wanted to just finish on is... We're, We've been, we've been operating as nomads, really. We share our ground um, at Gig Lane in Bury, play our league games at Gig Lane in Bury. And we're looking to establish our own ground here in Manchester. We've had great help from, uh, from Manchester City Council in trying, to, in trying to do that. And we're currently looking at a site in North Manchester in Moston. Um, to build that ground is going to cost a considerable amount of money. Um, we're targeting a budget of three and a half million. Two million of which we're raising ourselves. So not only have our fans put money in to get the, keep the club going for the last five or six years, but we've also looking to raise two million, and we're almost there. We've raised something like four hundred thousand pounds cash in donations. We've also developed an innovative capital um, fund raising scheme with Co-ops UK called Community Shares, and we've issued a prospectus with a target of raising one and a half million to go with a half a million cash. And so far, we've raised 1.3 million of that with further pledges of about £120,000 to develop a community facility in North Manchester for the benefit not just of FC United. Of course, we're going to play our games there. But we're going to, we will site our community uh, facilities and our community work there. But we'll also, that facility, as a community-owned facility, will be open to the wider community in that area to use and, and gain the benefit of.